Hello, one and all. I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews. You've tuned in for weathertainment. Let's get you the weather, and we'll tame you along the way, if you get my drift. The drift is the average high is up to 80 degrees. We're getting a little bit closer for the next several days, although there is a drop-off there for Thursday. A forecast high of 73, but the weekend looking a little bit warmer. Hey, Sting, remember when he sang heavy cloud, no rain? Well, not quite appropriate here. Heavy cloud, and there will be some rain in the forecast. Matter of fact, a lot of people tell me, Jeff, I can tell what you're going to predict based on the color of the clothes that you wear. So I'm kind of monochrome today. It should be kind of a dead giveaway if that is indeed the case. Next weather headline, temps getting closer to fine. It's all music today. Remember the Indigo Girls? Closer I am to fine. Well, that's where the temps are headed. What about the upcoming weekend? It's the holiday, don't forget. The fourth just got twice as good. Think about it. Makes sense the more you think about it, my friends. Radar scope showing rain moving in for today, though. On the doorstep, moving in for your Tuesday. So it will be somewhat soggy out there from time to time. You notice an entire pinwheeling of moisture here. They're separate systems, but they're getting bogged down and caught up in each other. And that's our home state right there. So the first slug of rain moving in for Tuesday morning and early afternoon. It'll be a break in here for Tuesday evening. And then Wednesday, this area of moisture will be approaching. Now, this is kind of interesting. I'm going to show you the infrared water vapor satellite imagery. It's a little bit of a different look at this. We look at the intensity based on the cloud colors and cloud temperatures with height. So that's a simple way of explaining it. So the blue areas are more deeper areas of moisture. So there's one area moving in for Tuesday morning, another developing for Tuesday afternoon. And then if this holds together, and you can certainly see it's growing with time, See, the, the trend is important as well as what's actually happening. So that's why yesterday when I mentioned that I wasn't too keen on Wednesday and maybe even Thursday having a lot of buildup of congestious clouds, because I could see upstream that the atmosphere was unstable. So if that's moving in, there's going to be some growth there. And indeed, that's exactly what winds up happening. And so Wednesday, there may be a pop-up shower or two as well around the midday hours when the heat of the day begins to build up. Meanwhile... Speaking of building up, we picked up more rain in the rain gauge early Monday morning. Most of it was before sunrise, then a couple of hundreds with a sprinkle or two around late morning and early afternoon hours. There is your sunrise, sunset information, day length as well. We've lost another minute. And look at the forecast on the right versus what actually happened on the left on under Monday. Almost exact. So again... When I encourage you to check this out and expect three things, the most accurate forecast you can find, teaching you something you didn't know, like with the water vapor imagery, and getting you to smile, like with my lousy singing of Sting and the Indigo Girls and more, that's what I promise you, and that's what I try to give you every single weathercast, which I'll have your forecast for you in just a moment. Welcome back. A look at your forecast for today goes just like this. Occasional thunder showers. Let's just say occasional showers and there'll be a rumble of thunder embedded within. A little warmer with a high of 75. And then for tonight, the clouds linger even when the raindrops stop falling. So mostly cloudy and a low around 62 degrees with a south breeze. Seven day forecast. Wednesday, again, cumulus congestus, some virga under the clouds. Looks like it's going to rain. Maybe it won't. Sprinkle, brief light shower or two. That kind of a day. Unsettled sky because of what I showed you upstream. And then Thursday and Friday look good. Friday, I, I promised you Friday looked good anyway. How about the fourth, though? Raindrop free. Weather systems look like they're going to wind up missing us to our south at this point. Close call, keep watching it, but it does look better for the upcoming weekend. Next chance for rain after that would be Monday. As your forecast, make it a great day.